subscribers. What a go on, what a go on. This is a girl, Lady Hannah. Back at it in the kitchen again. This evening, I'm gonna do for you some escovid fish. Yeah, man, some escovid fish. So, this was requested by Nikki all the way over there in Washington, D.C. So, I'm gonna do, do this one for her. So, come with me because we sort out them two fish, alright? Now, see, I have two snapper. I already start seasoning one already because camera camera person take too long to come. You know I will be me at that boat, all right? But anyhow, see I have my seasoning here. I mix everything together. In this I have salt, pepper, some um, onion, some garlic powder, and some fish seasoning, all right? And I mix everything together. And I'm gonna season them right all right this one is already seasoned so I'm gonna sort this one out all right my hands have been washed and clean so let's go when you take up a little and you start from the inside right and nobody has spear it you know you just go and sort them out good and remember don't let the bone take your time for you know this a fish and bone in it see so you have to take your time because you don't want the bone to bore your finger. So you have to spread them all over. Look in the little corner here. You just put them all about in the corner. Alright? Yeah, man. And in them, you cut them right here so, so the seeds can go right through. So you just, you know, all the way over. You see, I massage him all the way over here. You know, they massage thing there all the way over. Yeah, man. All the way over. You're going to put it every little crevice and corner. You turn him over and you rub him through and through and through. Yeah, man. This lady and up on the thing again, you know. And please don't forget to comment, subscribe share and like and tell me what you think about the thing right just tell me your honest opinion all right so yeah man i am rubbing him down putting the season all over all over him yeah man yeah man see there all over him and this one already Start out so I'm gonna put him one side and let them go and marinate a little bit. Put him in a container and let them go and marinate a little bit and then I'm gonna start out the seasoning them for the for the sauce we are gonna go over him. Alright? So I will back I will be back with you shortly. Alright to them there. Two nice lovely snapper. Alright. Okay guys. This is a girl lady Hannah back again. My fish has been marinating for a while. See, I have my pot on the stove. My oil is getting hot. I am gonna put in the oil a piece of pepper and two pega garlic. Alright. Now you don't want your fire to be too hot, you want it to be a medium. Alright. So I'm gonna fry out the pepper and the garlic in the oil, and then I'm gonna put in my fish. All right, you can see the oil hot. So I am gonna put in the fish and let the fish go and fry. Okay, so you keep your fire on medium. You don't want your fish to fry too fast or burn up. All right, so I'm gonna put my fish in the oil. And remember, you put the fish away from you. Because you don't want to splash and burn you. So you're going to put the fish away from you like this. Alright? Watch me now. See? Just like that. That's number one. No, this one bigger. So I'm going to take time to put this one. Alright? Yeah, man. I'm in that. Kind of fixing it a bit. Kind of look like he has bigger on the pot. But... Yes, guys, so see them there now. We're gonna 
I'm gonna fry for a while. And you know, fish not take too long to cook. Alright, so you're gonna let them fry on each side for about four minutes or so. And then you turn them. Alright, so I'm gonna finish deal with them. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make my sauce. Alright, so I will be back with you guys shortly. Look on them in the pot, oh, they look pretty. They're pretty, so they're pretty. Yeah, man, that's what you think, set. All right, I will be back with you in a while. All right, all right, guys, you see them frying nicely. My miss the pepper smells strong, so I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna remove the pepper from the pot and the garlic pieces. All right, and then when I when they finish fry, I will come right back. All right, see so them are frying nice. They know them are frying nice. They are look good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And please don't forget to like, subscribe. What you're waiting on to subscribe? If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe now. All right. So soon come back. All right. Okay, welcome back viewers and subscribers. Well, my fish is already fried as you know. So, I'm going to make my little sauce now to put over my fish. Alright, so here I have my ingredients. One, um, pepper, goat pepper. I don't know scotch bonnets, I'm using goat pepper. Some carrots, I'll cut up. Right, they have a name for it, but they call it Julian or something like that. Well, the only Julian I know is Bob's son, so I just call it so I cut them up in strips. Alright, and I have my onion right here. So, let me cut my onion. And your onions should be cut in rings. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut the onions in rings. In the meantime, let me turn on the stove. Alright. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a tablespoon or so of the oil that I use to fry the fish. The same oil I'm going to use to fry the fish. See it right here? I'm going to put about a spoon and a little bit in there. I know it's just two fish, so I don't want to hold it for nothing. Alright? Okay, so I am going to saute um, my carrots and stuff in that same, in my saucepan over there, alright? Yeah, man, okay. Seems like this onion is enough. Because those two little fish, so I don't want me to think too, too crowded. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to had my you see I have fermenter berries and I have a little the same fermenter but this is the grown one so I'm gonna put a little of both in the pot all right and just a little salt and my and my um vinegar all right here's my vinegar so I'm gonna add everything in my saucepan all right so let me use the same spoon right here so i'm gonna put in the carrot first so that the carrot can get a little cook a little bit all right i'm gonna just let this cook for just two little minutes but you know it's harder than the rest of the stuff and you know you want it you want the carrot to be crunchy you don't want it to be too soggy. Alright? So, and I'm just stirring him a little bit. Alright. Then, I'm adding my little ground pimenta right here. Remember, I am doing this to my liking. So if, if there is any other way you want to do it, that's fine. But it, I am doing it the way how I like it. Alright? And I'm gonna put a little pimenta berries in there. 
and I'm gonna add a little salt. Not much, but a quarter teaspoon, all right? I, I like to sprinkle it over. I don't know if it make a difference, but that's what I always do. And then I'm gonna stir this in. Stir this in. Then now I'm gonna pour in my vinegar, about a quarter cup. Alright. Stir this now and then I'm gonna add my um, onion and my pepper. Alright. We get this out of the way. I'm gonna stir this now, alright? So I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes. I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes. And then I come back. When I come back, I'll do the decoration. Alright? What what would you call it? Add it to my fish, alright? That one over there too short. Can't take the heat. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, you know, let just let it cook for a few minutes more. Yeah, I'm gonna let this saute for a few minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna make the presentation. All right. So see you when I come back, guys. All right. So this is basically how I do my sauce for my food. All right. So, when I come back, I do the presentation. Okay, guys? There you have it. And thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. There you have it. My Escovish fish. All right? That's Lady Hannah. Escovish fish. There you have it, guys. You're so pretty, that is. The colors, they are so beautiful. Please, don't forget to like leave a thumbs up and leave a comment okay and if you don't subscribe already please subscribe thank you for watching and see you in my next video all right have a wonderful evening and god bless you all right enough respect and big up on yourself all right